NASA has always been the face of space travel. From sending out the first rockets to space, to achieving milestones in the realm of space discoveries, NASA has done it all. However, in recent years, it has fallen behind and other companies have started to swoop in and take all the glory. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be talking about how NASA is getting crushed in terms of innovation in the space world. You must be wondering, why and how is this happening? Is NASA failing to do its job? Or have others become good at doing it? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into the intricacies surrounding NASA's recent performance on space innovation. Without further ado, let us begin. Let us first talk about how NASA has lost its footing as the pioneer in space exploration and how other companies such as SpaceX have started to take over. There are many reasons that have led to this stage, with the emergence of private space exploration companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Rocket Lab, NASA has fallen behind in the development of advanced space technology. According to many experts, this falling behind of the once great space corporation has been attributed to cuts in funding, outdated technology, and a lack of focus on new and emerging technologies. NASA has been slow to develop new technologies and has heavily relied on its existing infrastructures. Let me give you an example. We all remember the space shuttle. It was developed during a time when NASA was at its peak and its performance at the time was proof of how good they were back then. The space shuttle was a huge success as it not only carried out manned missions but was also capable of carrying equipment loads to facilitate the development of the International Space Station. That's not all. Since it could land when coming back to Earth, it could be reused, which helped save a lot of money at the time. And finally, it was quick to be developed and do its job, as it had a turnaround time of 54 days, which was a record at the time. So what happened that the space shuttle had to be replaced by the like of mega SpaceX inventions such as the Falcon 9 or the Starship? Well, only one answer comes to mind. Cost. Yeah, the defining reason for the failure of the space shuttle and NASA was the huge amount of costs affiliated with its production of rockets. If you're confused, let me run some numbers for you. Did you know that the NASA Space Shuttle program cost a whopping $209 billion? And this was to support 135 flights. Meaning, a mere flight cost NASA $1.55 billion. Now that is just insane. And that's not all. The much-awaited NASA Space Launch System will also have the same issue. Experts predict the NASA SLS could cost up to $2 billion per launch. So much money is being pumped into these projects, it makes you wonder, where is the money coming from? For years, NASA has been getting off due to the fact that there was no other competition in the market, and they could do whatever pleases them. But as I have already mentioned, other companies have started to take over. Let us take the Starship in comparison. We all know it is both bigger and more powerful than any NASA rocket out there, and it has a much larger payload capacity. So would it make sense that it would cost more? Well, that's wrong, as Elon Musk plans to cap the cost per launch to around $2 million per launch. Now that is just shockingly cheap compared to the numbers we have heard for the space shuttle. After all this, it comes as no surprise that other companies are now being favored over NASA. That's not all, as NASA is issuing other companies to do this job themselves. As you can clearly see, this has caused them to fall behind the private space exploration companies that have invested heavily in developing new technologies, such as reusable rockets, miniaturized satellites, and advanced propulsion systems. In my opinion, reusable rockets are the real game changer, as they really cut off expenses. When we cannot recover a rocket, which was the case before SpaceX came into the picture, we wasted a lot of money trying to build it from scratch. Now with the SpaceX self-landing capability, we can save a lot of money. No wonder NASA is asking SpaceX to do its job. 
But the problem with that is that this would put SpaceX in the driver's seat and NASA will soon lose its importance. NASA needs to come up with its own reusable rocket so that it can give SpaceX a run for its money and establish itself as a force in this industry. This won't just be beneficial for NASA, it would be beneficial for the space industry at large, as it would mean more competition, and more competition ultimately means better and larger output. Overall, the quality and quantity of space flights would improve, and hence, more intergalactic discoveries would occur in the foreseeable future. We've talked about cost and how it is such a big factor that caused NASA's downfall. Well, costs are not just the only factor. I'm talking about politics. NASA has been criticized for its bureaucracy and lack of efficiency in completing projects. Due to the tradition and power of person, NASA has failed to understand that they need new young blood. If they continue to adhere to pointless arguments about their tradition, at this rate, NASA might get stuck with its current political state. The organization is often bogged down by red tape, which has slowed the development of new technologies and stifled innovation. But this could be overturned, as what NASA needs is a talented bunch of astronauts. If they manage to put in the effort, they can slowly change things at the corporation, so that NASA regains its former glory. The politics do not end there. As you all know, NASA is essentially a government institution, and all matters are discussed by the state. This includes planning, manufacturing, and most importantly, budgeting. Previously, during the 70s, the US economy was pumping loads of money into NASA, as reaching the moon was a proud moment for the Americans. And given the ongoing Cold War with Russia, they would do anything to undermine their rival. That's why cost and money were not an issue, but nowadays, less emphasis is given to NASA in terms of budgeting, and more emphasis is given to everyday matters such as education and infrastructure. Not to mention the mountain of debt America has. While NASA is also important, as it is on the backseat in terms of budgeting, it cannot compete with the likes of SpaceX and Blue Origin, who have a much larger budget due to their multi-billionaire owners. The US government has been further demotivated by NASA's expenses and the fact that little has been achieved over the years. Now, let us talk about staffing. I'm sure none of you have thought about this point when it comes to why NASA is struggling with innovation. Well, there was a time when NASA was one of the biggest corporations in the world and this helped it recruit some of the biggest minds in the industry, which managed to help them get that innovative edge over its competitors. Well, now that most young guns prefer to work elsewhere such as SpaceX, NASA is struggling with young minds. That's not all, as due to the lack of recruitment, their original staff has now grown older, and as a result, the average age at NASA has almost doubled. Now that's worrying if you ask me. As a lack of fresh young minds and having old people run your company, you are bound to be limited by a lack of innovation, which NASA is clearly experiencing right now. The aging workforce issue needs to be addressed urgently and as privately as possible. Private space exploration companies have been able to attract top talent from all over the world, while NASA has been unable to keep up with the competition. NASA still has a wealth of experience and knowledge, and the organization has clearly done a lot of great work over the years. However, in my opinion, their time is up, as they need to understand that future space travel is in better hands now. Even if everything goes right for NASA in the coming years, they will not be able to beat the capital SpaceX has or the level of efficiency they have achieved with their spaceships. If NASA is going to remain a leader in space exploration and innovation, the organization needs to invest in new technologies, become more efficient, and continue to attract top talent. Only then will they be able to truly compete with these companies and become the force it once was. If you're wondering how they can do that, well, I have put together a lot of different viewpoints from different experts, through which NASA can improve itself as an organization. First of all, NASA should work to engage the public more effectively by increasing transparency and communication. This could include more frequent updates on mission progress, 
public events, and access to scientific data. This would improve public relations, and since funding to NASA depends on public perception, this will be quite beneficial for them. Secondly, NASA should invest in researching and developing new technologies for space exploration, such as propulsion systems, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Again, such upgrades are required if you need to level up and compete with the competition. That's not all, as NASA should focus on mission-driven initiatives, such as space exploration, human spaceflight, and planetary defense. This will help ensure that NASA is achieving its goals and making a difference in the world. Moreover, NASA should also foster collaboration with other government agencies, academia, private industries, and international partners. This will help accelerate innovation and increase the impact of NASA's work. And lastly, NASA should continue to invest in education and public outreach initiatives to help build interest in science and space exploration. This will help inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. In my opinion, if NASA follows these, it will improve its footing and importance in the space industry vastly. And we hope they do. I think I've cleared everything there is to know about NASA getting crushed in terms of innovation. But if you're still confused, do let us know in the comments down below. We value the feedback of our subscribers, so do not hesitate to do so. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please press the like button. And lastly, subscribe if you want to see similar videos. Take care, and we will see you in the next one.